and welcome back guys. So you guys had a question regarding what did Alliance Games ban me for? So I also kind of wanted to redo the video regarding why I left the Alliance Games server before they actually banned me for it. So, but I'll go ahead and click on the Alliance Games server and see what we are banned for. And we'll go ahead and tell you the rights and wrongs of this. Let's see here. There you go. Defamation, misinformation, slander is what they're accusing. So, this looks really bad in their server, because I actually have proof of them doing slander, defamation, misinformation. So, regarding making YouTube videos, you are allowed to make YouTube videos on YouTube, explaining why you left the server on Rust, or go play League of Legends, or why you stopped playing it, or why you're telling Ubisoft to go fuck himself. You're allowed to do that. That's called free speech. Uh... You can tell that that server is toxic regarding a Rust server when they're banning you because they didn't like what you said on a YouTube video. That's toxic behavior. Uh, so the reason we're making this video today, because one, you guys were asking, hey, what's the, what was the uh, bullshit excuse of why they banned you from the server? There you go. That's what they're accusing me of. I'm over here being Johnny Death in the courtroom. And we're dealing with Amber Heard's being a psychotic bitch on the other side. <laughs> So, how did this all start with Alliance Games? So one day, I joined Alliance Games after leaving Rust Empire. So I love the Rust the Empire server. It's a shame it's not doing very well, but yeah. So I joined this server. It said roleplay. I'm like, okay, fuck it. It's 2x. Why not? I built four grids of RP Town. I found out very quickly that it was not worth doing an RP Town because, well... <laughs> no one bought any houses, and I'm over here left to maintain all this shit. I'm like, what did I get myself into? It was cool looking, but uh, when I found out about Purge Day, and I see a group of five come running on over, and there's this guy that was the leader of MMM at the time that was called Fatty. You've got Private Pile, which I had no idea was an admin at the time, and I was like, okay, and you've got these three other fuckers. I'm like, okay, I can't remember their names because it's been such a while. It was fun, you know, they were doing their own village groups, you had RPers on there, you had other YouTubers. Left for eight months, came back. It's like someone didn't clean the outhouse, it was just, it was stinky. <laughs> Trying to be funny while doing this too. But, you know, I got the vibe that I walked in and I stepped in dog shit, and I'm like, okay, who didn't clean up the dog shit that's sitting in the middle of the road here? <laughs> and... You know, I, I walk in, and I'm like, I'm looking around, okay. Uh, I walk a pro or down the street, uh, down the road towards Outpost, and there's a person's base, and it's, I get the greeting, Who are you? How dare you go on my road? And I'm like, what the fuck? This is supposed to be streamer-friendly and roleplay-friendly? Yeah, don't think so. Come back after eight months, they're doing the server as a 3x. And yeah, there was a high pop count on there because of the 3x and the map was small. You're always bumping into people. It's cool. But when your server is a 3x and you get everything almost on day one, day two, what's the point in staying? That's basically what happened to me, the group that left the server. The server at 2x, it was all right for loot. It wasn't overpowered. When they made it 3x, it's just like, nope, we're out of here. And they all left, and I stayed behind to fuck around and find out. Alright. I'm trying to make this video short. I'm trying to describe everything I can in a short period of time. So, I stick around for a couple more months. And they go back to 2x. They go back to... And this is back when they were doing monthly wipes. And when they made the server at 3x... They made it a two-week wipe, which pissed everyone off, and all the people that are looking for monthly servers left. Alrighty. And I also noticed that it's kind of difficult to do an RP town with only two weeks to play with. Yeah, no, not enough time. Alright. So we're basically reliving the history of the server of me playing on it, basically, at this point. And highlighting that I joined the server, it was fun, when I first joined it, and then... Left for eight months, came back, it was a 3x, people got pissed that it became a two-week server on a 3x, and people didn't like that it was a 3x because it was too easy to get shit. Alright, 
group that I was hanging with left the server for another one. I stayed behind for another two months and fucked around and found out. Uh, ended up joining the village group. I think it was in March. Or a couple months before March, who knows, at this point. And actually enjoyed being part of the village. Alright, we lived on an island. We sat there for three months with no problems. Or three wipes, I guess we could call it that. And we built on an island. I built the bridges. No one really used the bridges, but they were there in good spirits in case people did want to walk across the bridge. <laughs> uh, and then we talked about building our own ranch. I get my base down after 30 minutes. Other people had their bases down. Everyone got pissed when Private Pile, the admin on the server, said, Oh, let's go build over here on the other side of the It's like, what the fuck, man? Uh, asked regarding prices regarding tea shops. I got the answer from him that whoever comes out with a price first, that is the set price for that shop. I'm like, okay, cool. Sounds good. Do my tea shop. Usually uh, two users known as Dragon and Combat Ducky usually does the teas, but they have been doing them, so it's like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. Uh, end up doing the teas because no one else is doing them. And I'm being told by an admin, known as Private Pile, please remember not to harass these users, that, yeah, if you price your tea as 125 and you have teas in your shop day one, that's the price that the shop should be at, and everyone else should match your price, or can ask for a higher price. Okay, cool. Uh, that wipe, when I was building my ranch, found out that Horse Farms on the Alliance game server was overpowered and I could get everything day one. Uh, I just questioned, okay, so what do I do now? <laughs> I got everything researched in the workbench. What do I do now? <laughs> it's awful when you can get everything from tier one, two, and three researched in one day. That's not good. That's a great way to get people to leave your server. <laughs> Definitely need to get some nerfing going on in there. All right. So the easiest thing would be to put a, a limit on how many troughs or how many horses you can have in your farm. They didn't do that. Okay. So start buttoning heads with tubs. Uh, next couple wipes in where he starts doing his own tea farm for some reason. So, the white before Fire and Ice, he did his own farm. He built this big-ass farm. It's laggy as shit. It was even causing everyone else to lag. Even the admins just like, nope, we're removing it. They slash removed it. <laughs> uh, it was a cool base, but just way too much going on. Like, Jesus. But anyways, I bought heads with him again, where I had my T set to 125, and he's over there uncut undercutting it, and I call out in chat, like, hey, what the fuck, man, you're undercutting my prices. Oh, it's comp it's a good business decision. I'm like, no, you're trying to start shit, dude. Stop it. It's not cool. It's stinky. No one wants to be around the stinky. No one wants to be around someone being a penis. No one wants to be around someone being a dick, an asshole. Some pathetic person looking for attention in the most pathetic ways possible. No one wants to be around, no one wants to be around that shit. That's just as bad as VR chat, where I'm dealing with people doing slander, defamation, misinformation, where they sit there and say, Oh my god, he told everyone to go fuck himself on YouTube video or something stupid like that, and it's a lie. And they spread this rumor around. That is just as bad. That is slander and defamation, misinformation right there. When you accuse someone else of something and it's words and there's no proof of it, that is slander, defamation, misinformation. I have won 14 cases where people would do, where people would do slander, defamation, misinformation to me to get me banned from multiple clubs on VR chat. So I think it's funny that they're banning me, accusing me of defamation, misinformation, and slander, when I'm just telling the truth of why I left the server. <laughs> Where it's not against Face Punch's terms of service for me saying why I left the server on YouTube. Y you see where I'm just sitting there like, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> now, in YouTube, uh, YouTube's eyes, it's free speech. 
you know, some people like free speech. You know, you say your server's streamer friendly, but you can't enforce your own damn rules. Not very streamer friendly now, is it? It's not very role play uh, encouraged now, is it? When you're banning people because they gave your server a review of why they left, so that their viewers could follow them to the next server. Yeah, not cool. <laughs> well, why am I throwing kind of like a little fit regardings? Because I was expecting to be banned, or I already knew I was going to get banned from the server. I just didn't think it would, they would come with this bullshit excuse. So let me go ahead and show you the pictures of how I was treated in the Discord server and explain what happened there. And I'll finish off saying why I left the server and we'll call it even. Oh my god. I thought I was ready to go with this. But it seems that the pictures are not where I put them. It's not easier being a YouTuber, by the way. Alright, so this is picture number one. This is where I was being lashed into on day two of the wipe of the server. This is where Bad Omen, which is the guy that thinks it's all about him and why people join the server, that's literally his ego, is sitting there, no one gives a shit. Uh, Combat Ducky, which is the person that usually does the tea. If you're leaving, why finish? Well, I'm over here making clones, and I, because uh, Glub Tub is being such a douchebag, I decided to put them in my shop to sell the god clones. And I know that's a thing that's going to piss people off, but I did it because, you know, if everyone's got the seed, why would they buy it from the damn tea shop? He wanted to be a dick and undercut me and break a server rule, and no admins wanted to enforce the rule. Fuck it, sell the god clones. <laughs> you would have done the same thing if you're over here following the rules of the server of whoever comes out with the price first, that's the price, and then you see some other asshole undercutting you, you would have sold damn god clones too. Uh, you're just wasting your own time. Ducky encouraged me to just leave the server, basically. Uh, I... I say up there, Stark Angel, I'm just done with the bullshit at this point. You know, I feel like I'm backed in the corner, no longer welcome on the server, being pushed out like some shit stain that's been deposited somewhere, you know. It just... As soon as the group that consists of Bad Omen, Blitz, Grub Tub, Zero, um, and Blitz, that five man, as soon as they went from village group to clan the server's reputation just pooped and like there's no nice way to put it like when they were running as a village and being nice and not an asshole it was fun because i wasn't constantly out there farming or trying to get scrapped the fastest way possible i was distracted with a village i was distracted with building a village that actually looks nice and clean out in the water too but as soon as they started acting like a clan and acting, oh, this is our server, we will do what I want, we will ban whoever we want, that server reputation slash wanting to be on the server just went down the toilet like someone clogged it after having really bad Mexican food. It's truth. So, as I read this, Ad Omen's being toxic, bye-bye. If you keep threatening the server, I'm going to have to ban you. I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? I called someone out for undercutting a tea price and you're throwing a fit like someone took your lollipop the fuck are you doing that's the server owner dusty which goes by dusty hansing over on twitch who do it you started this shit and now you can't handle people defending themselves and i'm like the fuck are you even talking about i called someone out for undercutting a tea price dude and you're over here throwing a fit for me calling out someone for breaking a server rule? And no one's enforcing it? The fuck is wrong with these people? That's what I'm thinking at this point. Alright. Here's picture number two inside the Discord server. And at the time I had no idea that the 
I'm being cussed out by another VIP. Yeah, this gets more interesting. So this is a correction to the last video where I like Milfro as an admin. I like Pyle as an admin. I don't know who the fuck this other admin is here. Never seen him. He's always playing something else, so it's like, okay. Um, but yeah, on this picture, I'm going to try to read it out for you because it's kind of blurry, so it's kind of hard to read it. So just give me a hot second here to pull it up on another screen so I can read it to you. It's story time! <laughs> so I'm talking to Rambo, and he's talking about not being able to be on much this wipe. And I'm like, come join me. I'll go set up the horse farm. I'll have plenty of scrap left over. Day one, I have everything unlocked. I'm like, okay, now I'm bored. What do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do a wire challenge where I'd have to build on wire foundations. I can still farm on land, but I'm not allowed to build anything on land. I wanted to do one of those challenges, but I didn't get the chance because I got banned from the server for bullshit reasons. But, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not liking this map. So, I mentioned regarding the fire and ice map why I'm not liking it. It doesn't have ranch. doesn't have wire treatment. Which, wire treatment is a monument that everyone runs, like, every single day. So, by not having it, you pissed off a bunch of people right there. Uh, ranch, you got people that do the horse farm because this is how you break the economy of the Alliance game server. Yeah, so you got those people being pissed off. It didn't help when Russ decided to break the horses, too. That didn't help much of it either. That pissed off people, too. <laughs> All right. And, and then I'm pissed because I've died three times to landmines around the monuments. So it's like... I'm on, man. So, now I'm being railed in the Alliance Games Rust Discord server for saying why I don't like the map. I, and the love puddle comes in, I told you to stop acting like you're the most important person on the server. Like, well, I am the one making YouTube videos on the server. And I find it coincidental that the server went from 8 people pop to 8 for 10 more people on the server after I started doing YouTube videos. And when I stopped, server pop went back to normal. So it's like, hmm, did that have to do with me? Or was that just convent, convent, or goodness gracious, if I could just say it, right? Uh, convenient timing. <laughs> I think it had something to do with the YouTube videos of people chasing YouTubers to PvE servers. Um, the 10 people that used to be on the Alliance game server actually followed me over to battle zone and we're over there just chilling in RP houses having a great time <laughs> it's, uh, I'm not trying to mock Alliance Games server or anything like that I'm just thinking it's kind of hilarious that 10 people followed me from Alliance Games server to the battle zone server and we're just chilling doing some role play on a battle zone server <laughs> yeah but yeah he starts and he starts sitting there going, oh, I'm more important than you, and all this stuff. I'm like, dude, I'm just saying, isn't it a little coincidental? I start doing videos on the Alliance game server, and the pop goes up. But as soon as I stop, it goes back down. And he's sitting there, oh, it's not about you, it's about us, it's our server. And I'm like, dude, you have a bit of an ego there. Like, seriously, day one. They're taking Chopper. What is the point of being on the server? That extremely... That encourages you to leave the server when you see that shit. You're being lashed out for... You know, calling someone out for undercutting your prices on your shop. That's breaking a server rule, which is toxic behavior. That that person's undercutting your shop. You've got someone doing slander, defamation, misinformation in the Alliance Game Discord server in the general chat of Russ, where they're railing into someone for saying, isn't it coincidental that I start doing videos on the, sh on the server? Server pop goes up to 10 more people than usual, making it 18 people on the server, and then as soon as I stop, it goes back down, and the person's over there going, oh, it's not about you, it's, you're not so important on the server, and they're the ones over there lying and talking shit doing slander, defamation, misinformation. So you can see why I'm looking over with one eye winking over like, really? 
So if you were me, and you saw these two screenshots, and this shit was directed at you, would you want to stay on the Alliance game server? Seriously, I want a serious answer in the comments below. I'm pretty sure the answer is, fuck no! So, in the end, this is what happened regarding Alliance games. I felt back into the corner, you know, you've got five-man group over there, you've got Dusty, LSD, and Combat Ducky up in another base by himself, and you've got the server owner, Dusty, agreeing with Combat Ducky, Bat Omen, and the other five group, acting on favorism of what others say, and go, you know what, we don't like this person, let's just ban them from the server. Does that sound like a good server to go back to? Or I had the feeling it was going to get banned from the server. Like, I've been button heads with Glove Tub for the last three wipes regarding the server, ever since he started his own tea farm and is over there undercutting the prices. And, you know, I was told directly by an admin, whoever comes out with the price first, that's the set price. That's what I was told. That was the supposed rule that I was told. And I'm like, dude. Is it the rule or not? Make up your fucking mind. <laughs> but, yeah, this is why I'm no longer an Alliance game server. This is their bullshit excuse. They they banned me for defamation, misinformation, and slander. But don't understand that making a YouTube video on YouTube is free speech. I'm saying why you left the server. So this way that your viewers can follow you to the next server. Doesn't actually break any laws. Doesn't break the terms of service of Rust or YouTube. It's completely legal. What they're doing is extremely illegal. <laughs> How so? Well, they're over there banning people for defamation, misinformation, slander. I'm over here being Johnny Death, trying to have a nice little thing of rum, trying to enjoy myself. And you got the people that run in the Lions games as Amber Hurts, a psychotic bitch, being a dick. I've got a jar of dirt, and guess what's inside it? Oh, shit. <laughs> you you kind of get the idea here. Um, we'll see if I can find the meme clip here. Let's see. Can I find it? I think I have it here somewhere. Oh, meme videos. Where are you? I have it here somewhere. I was not prepared for this. Memes, maybe? No, that's Animal Crossing. We don't want that. Uh, is it in here? No. Okay, I'll just go find it. Hard way. To the Go Engine! Johnny Death. Oh my goodness. Funny moments, memes. <laughs> Can I find the full one though? With regular feedback from your. Let's see if I found it. I'll be. I'll laugh my ass off if I found it realize at the time but i think he was using cocaine because it was like there was a jar a jar <laughs> of cocaine out on the table i, re I realized that sounds weird but it was like a, a, an actual vintage jar of it. got it <laughs> come to negotiate eh? have you you slimy git look what i got i've got a jar, I got a jar of dirt i got a jar of dirt and guess what's inside it enough <laughs> I'm sitting over here, and I'll compare myself to this for a second here. I'm calling this fucker out for breaking the rules. Guess what I've got? I've got T's for 125. Look at that dick over there undercutting me. And you got gloves going, enough of this.
<laughs> Turning it into a meme. What's this one? You heard Miss Heard say, get off me, right? Stop backing me into a corner, you bitch. No, I did not. Hitting the wall hard f based on the we'll accusations that she bit, threw up. I'm sorry, I was talking. Is that all right? You'd, you, you'd answer my question. We'll take a look at the next oh, exhibit. Thank you. Yeah. As long as you're happy, sir. You didn't want her after. You wanted to control her career, correct? Objection compound. That's uh, I'll, I'll, hold on, untrue. Mr. It's a Mr. great Depp, guess. Sir. All sorry. right, yes, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Sorry. Let's, That's we right. can, we can, did I read that right? Yes, Mr. Rottenborn. You're complaining about her ambition in this text to her, to, to Dr. Kipper, correct? Um, I'm realizing that her ambition is far stronger than her uh, supposed feelings for me, yes. It doesn't mean that no. I actually literally cut my finger off after at the age of 12, finding the only thing that gave me uh, peace, <laughs> which is playing the guitar. Very unlikely. Why didn't I start lopping off digits when I was uh, 13? Then? Just the way it was worded. Now, Miss Hurd, yeah. Miss Hurd, what? Objection, relevance. What's the relevance? When your nerves Which, are pushed. Sir, you can can we approach her? Okay. Pardon. She was trying to get you to stop using drugs. But she let's take a look at what same, you say in she this had used text. That term before. In this text, Mr. Depp, you say just there were numerous negative news stories about you. You'd agree with that, correct? Objection compound. You see how I feel like Johnny Depp to a certain point? Getting banned from a server for saying why I left. <laughs> Which, that's slander and defamation on the owner's part doing right there. That was toxic behavior. It proves that server's toxic. Uh, I get the same shit in VR chat where people sit there, oh my god, he did this. I'm over here a month after breaking my ankle, sitting there, not able to get out of bed because my ankle's broken. I come back to VR chat and, oh, you were banned because you were, you did this. I'm like, when could I do that? Oh, you did it this month. Uh, I was in bed that month healing because I broke my ankle. Next bullshit excuse. So you can kind of see why I'm like, are you sure you want to start shit? <laughs> I love it, because you, you, know, you got on your chat and you got all these idiots that just act on word of mouth. And like, this is your best choice. If you're running a virtual club and you hear someone accusing you, someone of something and they can't show you proof, you're probably better off just banning that person. You know why? Because if you don't ban that person for what they're accusing someone else of, which is counts as slander, as defamation, misinformation of the user trying to accuse someone else of doing something, yeah, your club's in for a hell of a ride by letting them stay. <laughs> oh, that would piss off so many people if clubs started just banning you based on you saying, oh my god, he did this and didn't show proof, like, holy shit. But it would make the club seem safer, so, you know. But you see the point here, you know. I feel like I'm Johnny Death sitting in a chair. You've got the evil Amber Hertz over here. Oh my god, he said bad things about our server, and while he left, oh, we should just ban him and not even redeem our chances of having a good server reputation ever again. They they nailed the coffin for the server by banning me. Like, I said I would come back if they make, gave me a simple apology. I was serious about that. But this nails the server in the coffin pretty well here. Accusing someone of breaking the law when they're following the law and following the YouTube Terms of Service and the Facebook Terms of Service. You couldn't have say your server's more toxic than me proving it right here. It's pretty bad when I've got to compare myself to the Johnny Death and Emma Hertz case. You know, over here, I've got a jar of dirt. I've got a jar of dirt. I'm calling this fucker out for undercutting my deep price, proving that they're breaking a rule. 
and no server owner or admin wants to enforce the rule, and we're just going to ban the victim because we're tired of this person constantly pointing out that this person's breaking a rule. Well, yeah, that's a great server. <laughs> so, anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. You see it from my point of view. I'm sitting over here in the corner trying to have a thing of rum, trying to have some fun and relax and not have everything on day one or watching someone take down Chopper day one. And Great. I get the tea prime up. Sit there for 24 hours, get a tea out, get the price out, follow the server rules just to be met with some asshole next day undercutting the heat prices and on day one seeing someone take down the shopper. Yeah, no thank you. So, there's your proof of why I'm banned from the Alliance Games server. You wanted an answer? There you go, that's what I'm being accused of. Uh, how many cases have I won regarding people accusing defamation, misinformation, or slander? 14 tr cases so far. On what platform? VR chat. So on VR chat, people do slander and defamation, misinformation all the time. They'll accuse you of shit, try to get you banned from clubs or virtual clubs, or try to run you off the platform. But they don't realize that shit's illegal to be doing. So I already dealt with 14 cases. I've already had to do three cease and desist orders. Yep. Uh, cease and desist order is basically a restraining order where you're not allowed to proceed to harass the user, you're not allowed to sit there and talk badly about the user or ruin the person's reputation, you know, shit like that, you know. That was fun, sitting in there learning what an international cease and desist order is. Oh yeah, those exist. I, I had a problem with a person that lived over in Australia sitting there doing slander, defamation, misinformation. I'm like, okay, how do I send a cease and desist that way? Oh boy, I need a lawyer. Yep. So how did I find out they live in Australia? Because they're over there on Twitch showing exactly where they live, like an idiot. <laughs> they're over there having have a Lexica in the background. Someone goes, where do I, we live? And it says exactly where they live. <laughs> Idiots. So, there are some good things about having Alaska. Don't have it on when you stream, especially if you record video. You never know how badly Alaska will screw you over. Anyways, be sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I hope everyone liked this video. You get the exact description of why I left the server. It's not fun if you feel like you just walked in dog shit when you walked through the server store, or feel like you're being backed into a corner for you know, proving that someone just broke a rule on that server, or, you know, you have the owner threatening to ban you for pointing out that someone's breaking a server rule, and you're being ganged up by half the server because you exposed someone for breaking a server rule? That doesn't sound healthy, doesn't sound good, doesn't sound like a server worth playing. Like I said, I, I literally said, if I get a sincere apology, I'll come back. I don't think that's happening. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'm going to go to the Battlezone server. And I'm going to go make sure I get plenty of upkeep for the bases over there. That's what I do every day is go make sure all the bases got plenty of upkeep. Uh, currently waiting for consent of the rest of the group before recording gameplay with the other people in the group. Consent is sexy. <laughs> make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.